Hello friends, happy Sunday. My hair's kind of wild today, but <laughs> it is what it is. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave you guys a shopping link right here in the comments. So this is where you can find all of the makeup I'm gonna use. Go ahead and pin that there. So that's where you can shop all the makeup. And then I went ahead and left you guys the little clickable link to be able to message me. So if you guys need any help picking out your products, feel free to message me, send me a selfie facing a window and I can give you a full recommendation on what colors you are, what products to use, all of the things. Um, and yeah, so super excited to be live with you guys today. Make sure to like, comment, share. Always helps me out so much if you could Tag your friends and loved ones down in the comments if you know anyone who loves a good makeup tutorial. Um, but we're going to do like an easy breezy Sunday makeup look. Uh, this will be really awesome for those who have mature skin or dry skin. Or if you really love just like a really simplified makeup look. I feel like you'll really like this one today. Hello. Hi guys. Happy Sunday. Going to go ahead and curl my lashes with the Unique Lash Curler. This is going to be under the tools section on my website and if you can't ever find anything one we have a new search bar it's just the little um magnifying glass on our website and then if you still can't find anything for any reason just message me and i will be so happy to help give you the direct link but again uh down here in the bottom left hand corner i left the little area to be able to um message me so feel free Yay! Hi, Jessica. All right, so today's coverage, we're going to do the stick foundation today. So the stick foundation is really fun because of how fast it is to apply. Um, you literally just mark up your face with it, and it has really good coverage, and is very hydrating. It's a cream-based foundation coverage. It still has really nice hydrating properties to it. And I really like this one because you have really good control over how much um, you're putting on, how much is going everywhere. I did forget to get my blending buds wet. So one second, let me get those wet because it won't blend out nicely without it. Hold on. Sorry about that. Usually pretty good at remembering to do that, but not today apparently. But hi guys, welcome, welcome. So those of you who just now tuning in, I am gonna do the stick foundation for today. So what I did is I took the stick foundation, the shade Lace, and just literally marked up your face with it. Then you're gonna take the blending buds from Unique and you're going to blend this in. So you can either blend this in with the blending buds, which is the way I prefer to do it, or you could blend it in with the Kabuki brush and you would do it the same way. You just kind of dabble at that. I personally feel like this with the blending buds gives you better, smoother coverage, especially with the stick foundation, but um, you can try both ways. Hello, hi. I, yes, I'm gonna try to do my mom's makeup this month for you guys. Maybe like a pretty holiday look. Her schedule is always so crazy during December too. She runs an Etsy site called Treasure Your Memories and the your is like you are. And she makes like such cute little things on there. So she is always so busy around this time of the year. But if you are supporting small businesses like myself, go check out her Etsy site. It's called Treasure Your Memories and the your is a you are. Okay, so went ahead and did one little layer of this. So I wanted to kind of just do a soft layer at first to show you guys that this foundation is so buildable. So I can still see my freckles. I can still see my skin, but the redness has totally been distinct, like distinguished. No, uh, extinguished. <laughs> I don't know why I chose that word. Uh, the redness is gone is what I'm trying to say. And it looks, your skin looks softer, looks hydrated, looks dewy. So if that is your preferred foundation, then you'll love the stick foundation. Again, just comment color match down below or just private message me here on Facebook. The easiest way, hi Jennifer. The easiest way is to uh, message me for the fastest response. Um, my assistant who usually helps me go through my comments to start conversation with you guys. I'm always the one to message. If you guys are ever messaging me, that's always me. So don't ever think that like you're talking to somebody else. Uh, but for comments, she does help to um, 
kind of start those conversations like, hey, I saw you need to be color matched, you know, so uh, she's not here this week. She went home. She's from Ohio. So, um, so what I was getting at was message me, just go directly to the source by clicking down here. There's a little, little message button to get a color match. And all I need from you is a selfie facing a window. So here is that second layer of foundation. And what's really awesome about this coverage is even though I'm adding more, it doesn't make it look cakey or look like anything. It doesn't make it look uh, like built up or anything like that. It's still super, super soft, really beautiful coverage. All right, so once that's all blended in, and I always take it up and over my eyelids. Now, Going in with one of my favorite tools, the concealer. Oh my gosh, yeah, you love the lip mask. It's so good. All right, so now we're going to go with our Skin Solution Concealer in the shade Organza. And this is going to be really amazing, especially if you are having a breakout like I am or if you have dark circles. So this is in the shade Organza. And then the foundation I used was the shade uh, Lace. So going ahead and now going in with the small blending bud, which again, when you buy these, you get two, you get the large and the small, which is perfect for all of the products and reaching those hard to reach little areas around your eyes. So with this concealer, I take it up and around my eyes and then down on my cheeks, up and over my nose just like completely, almost like goggles. And the reason that I do that is it's going to brighten up this whole area versus just like a little bit on your under eye. So applying it all over. And this concealer also has caffeine infused in it. So this is not only going to be really good for hiding things like dark circles and um, uneven skin, but this is also gonna firm up those areas too. So it's really, really great for all ages. Yes, Christy, they um, are aware of that issue. Go ahead and message support and they'll get you out a new bottle ASAP. Okay, so went ahead and applied my concealer and now you can really see just how soft this coverage is. Totally evens out your complexion and with the two layers of foundation and a little bit of concealer, it literally, oh, it's so, so amazing. So soft, so full coverage and hydrating. So like me, I get a little bit dry in my, uh, like my T-zone and my cheeks a little bit during this time of year. So I love using the lace foundation stick, which again, stick foundation, which is like cream based uh, around this time of year. And it's just so beautiful. All right. So now for our touch bold setting powder, I'm going to use this in my oily areas, which is my T-zone. So uh, I was talking to someone the other day and she was like, do I have to use the setting powder ever? I'm like, you can just use it wherever you need it. Whether you have one little area that gets oily or whether you have like a lot of areas that get oily, you can use this product for that. So it just depends on what preference you want. So um, like I was saying, if you are so overwhelmed with uh, makeup choices, which I feel like if you're not like a big makeup wearer, it's extremely overwhelming. In fact, I was actually buying presents for uh, some people in our life for makeup. And I was even feeling overwhelmed like, oh gosh, what do I get them? What do I pick up for her? So it's totally normal. Even I get overwhelmed and I, this is what I do for a living. <laughs> so let me help you. So send me a selfie facing a window of whoever you're shopping from, shopping for. So if you want to shop for your mom, for example, and you want to get her some makeup, send me a picture of her. If Even if it's a picture of you too, as long as her skin is with no filter on it, like the, you know, filters on Instagram or whatever. And then, um, like when you look at it, you're like, okay, that's a decent photo. I can help you with that. And the shipping dates, you guys, are ending really, really soon. Um, the 9th is the last day to be able to get everything, um in time for Christmas, if you're doing regular shipping, which if you buy any of the sprays, then they have to go regular shipping because of um, the planes, I guess. But if you are not getting the spray, then I believe the, oh, I forget what the date was, the 17th for the fast shipping option, but do the 9th. So make sure you get your, your Christmas orders in by the 9th. I'm not going to do a red lip today. We're going more like soft and subtle Sunday looks, <laughs> but I will do a holiday look again for you guys this week. I promise. Maybe tomorrow. 
Yes. So speaking of sales, uh, today is the last day to be able to get your bronzer and your set mist, your prime to set mist. Today is the last day ends at midnight tonight and the new bundle launches tomorrow, which I will be using one product that is included in tomorrow's bundle and let me know when you spot it. Okay. That's your hint. That's your, you guys are always squeezing me out from my hints. There's my hint for you guys. I, you'll know it when you see it. Um, so that is tomorrow's bundle, which I believe lasts for the week. So today, if you didn't get your bronzer, make sure you grab it today because once the bronzer has gone, it's gone. I don't know when or if they're bringing it back. Um, so for setting, I just went ahead and used my pressed powder in the shade taffeta. When I do color match, you guys, I always explain that I tend to recommend one color in foundation, one color in pressed powder because the two equal out to your skin tone. I was talking to someone this morning and she was like, well, if I'm not getting the powder, what would be my color? And I don't recommend, and this is for everyone and any type of makeup, this isn't just like unique, this is like any type of makeup. I don't recommend not setting your foundation. Not setting your foundation, even if it has claims like our Serum Plus foundation of no creasing or moving, it does increase the odds that it will crease, that it will move because of our natural oils in our skin. It's just not natural for makeup not to, to not move if you don't set it. Like it's, you know, it, it just doesn't make sense. Uh, so we can't expect, you know, miracles to happen. So <laughs> make sure you set your makeup. So for example, I use the shade Lace for my foundation and then went over with Taffeta because those two colors equal out to my skin tone. It also is going to set the makeup, which helps it to stay in place, look really soft and, and beautiful on our skin. And it also adds that layer of coverage too. No, shade Velour is darker than Organza. Okay, so now that we do have all of our coverage on, now I'm going to use the infamous brand new bronzer that I was talking to you guys about. So I'm gonna use it in the shade medium and I'm gonna take the sculpting brush that is also included in that bundle and I'm gonna tap it into my bronzer, swirl it into the mirror, tap any off, and then hold this kind of, it almost looks upside down in my opinion. Um, so the longer bristles towards your jawline and then you want to just really softly etch that between the top of the ear, corner of the mouth, sticking right into that hollow. Just like so. And then stop and swirl over that and then around the jawline. <laughs> That's awesome. Laura says the addition of the setting powder has made a huge difference. Yes. Amen, sister friend. Merry Christmas. Awesome. Okay, so now for your forehead, same thing. At the forehead, you're going to mark the temple, swirl down. But the bronzer, like I said, is only on sale and only available until tonight at midnight. So if you haven't grabbed it yet, make sure you do. You're gonna be real sad when I'm using this tomorrow and you didn't get it. <laughs> um, but this bronzer is amazing. I love how soft it is. I love that it doesn't pull orange. I love that it's not muddy or heavy looking and it's matte. So love all of these things about this bronzer. Phenomenal, they did such a killer job on the formula. So around the nose, just the sides, just like that. If I have Scarlet in foundation with shade and pressed powder. Probably the shade, oh, hmm, you could do a couple. Probably the shade Organza without saying a selfie. Which brush do you like better for contouring the new one or the tapered one? It's funny that you said that because when I first got the bronzer, I was like, can't take away my tapered blush brush. <laughs> I love this brush. But the more I'm using this, I think I actually like this one better because of how like accurate it up um with the tapered blusher brush i felt like i had to swirl a lot to blend that out and with the new sculpting brush i feel like i don't have to i feel like it's faster and that's probably because this is meant for blush and this is meant for sculpting so that's probably why um so i'm actually i think i might be converted <laughs> to my sculpting brush which is on sale in that holiday bundle it's a holiday special and you get your choice of bronzer or blush you can choose the blush option if you want and you can upgrade to include that and you also get the prime to set mist which is amazing okay so bronzer's on so now let's apply our blush 
And we're gonna do the shade Sisterly, and I love this color, especially for days like today when I'm just kind of doing a really soft makeup look, because this pulls a really pretty sheen to your skin, not a glitter, not a metallic, it's just like a sheen. It's really, really gorgeous, acts like a blush and a highlight all in one, and we're applying it with the setting powder brush. I love this brush for blush. Um, Laura, you would be the shade light in your bronzer. I do. I think I do prefer the sculpting brush over the tapered blusher brush for contour. Yes. If I'm tool and foundation stick, what color bronzer? You want the shade fair for you, Kate. Okay, so now that our face is done, we're going to throw on some brows because that's always important, especially to frame our face, make our eyes look whiter, larger, more wide awake. It does a lot, a lot, a lot. So we're going to go ahead and go in with our brow sculpting pencil. Um, and then this is going to be in the shade brown. This brow pencil is the one that I was raving about that has the argan oil, keratin, and biotin infused in it. So the brow pencil, the brow pomade, and powder all help your brow hair to grow while you're wearing it, which is so rad. Um, it has a gel-like texture infused in it, so it actually helps your brow hair to lay down in place. And it is so fast and super easy to use. The only trick is to use a light hand make sure that you are using a light hand and they will come out perfect every time just etch a little bit here and then what i like to do is take the little brush that it comes with and we'll blend all that out if i'm taffeta in foundation what color of pressed powder and bronzer do i need i if you're taffeta and it matches really well i would do the shade taffeta also in your pressed powder and then i would do the shade medium in your bronzer if taffeta is looking a little bit light for you um then i would go up in a shade to the shade linen in your pressed powder but still the shade medium in your bronzer and again if you guys need any other personalized help or have any other questions maybe i missed Sorry, I don't know what happened to my Wi-Fi. Um, just feel free to reach out to me by clicking that little messenger button down here. I have noticed a big difference in my brow growth since starting to use that. Right? I wish we could high five because me too. All right, so for eyes, like I said, we're going soft and subtle for Sunday. So I'm going to do my eyeliner in the shade Pristine. So this is a white eyeliner. And what's really cool about this is when you use a white eyeliner, it really like kind of reflects light. So it actually in turn helps your eyes to look brighter so if you have hooded eyes or really small eyes this is a good little trick for you to do to really make your eyes look like they pop i have satin foundation what color shade do i need for pressed powder victoria i would do the shade linen for you in your pressed powder and the shade medium in your bronzer which the bronzer is only available in the holiday special you can't get it by itself and you are not capped. You can buy as many of them as you want. And like I said, once the bronzer is off the website tonight at midnight, I don't know when or if it will ever come back. So don't miss out on it. Grab a couple because that's what I did. Okay, so the new bundle launches tomorrow at 9 a.m. Um, I will tell you, you'll know, you'll know uh, when my hint is coming. Okay, so now for eyes, we're going to take the bronzer in the shade Dark with a fluffy crease brush. And you could do this with any shade of bronzer. I'm just using the shade Dark because I have all the colors, so might as well just use them. Um, so I love this one for eyeshadow. You, Like I said, you could use any color of your bronzer to do this step. But I love popping a little bit of bronzer into the crease of my eyes. I feel like it really uh, makes it look like we're wearing eyeshadow when we really didn't. White eyeliner doesn't go on my waterline as well. So I would try to sharpen it a little bit. Um, sometimes when you get makeup, and this again goes for all brands, not like just unique. Sometimes when you get some makeup, including like the pressed powder, there's like a factory layer that goes over top of it to prevent one shattering. So a lot of the a lot of compacts do this. And then for eyeliners, lip liners, they like coat the tip, just like when you get a pen. Have you ever noticed that it has like a gel? tip on it sometimes you have to sharpen it down a little bit with your pencils and then with your compact sometimes you have to like take a sponge and rub that top layer off because it looks like extra concentrated so if you've ever used your pressed powder and you're like oh gosh this looks dark on me and then you wait a little bit 
and then it matches. That's how the pressed powders are for me. Um, it's just like that really, there's like a factory layer that I want to call to prevent it from breaking when it travels. Fun fact for you. Okay, so um, I use the shade medium in the contour, in the bronzer to contour. Okay, so then for our eyes, we're going to go in with the eye. Oops, I almost forgot to set my makeup. We're going to do the Prime to Set Mist. This has been my favorite for setting. One, it smells so fresh and so beautiful. It smells like cucumbers, but like fresh cucumbers, not like fragranced. Um, and something else that I've been noticing about the new Prime to Set is how when I put it on, I feel like hours later, I don't see any separation with my makeup whatsoever. So if you're experiencing any separation with your foundation, one that can be caused from um, needing to exfoliate or needing to wash your makeup brushes or needing to wash your uh, a cleansing brush, like if you use one to wash your face at night. So it can all go into that. But also sometimes people's skin is just prone for separating with makeup. You just have like tough skin to please. Um, so I've been really impressed with the results with that, with the prime to set pop, prime to set spray mist, this guy, um, which is on sale in the holiday special. Okay. So now for lashes, we're going to go in with the lash primer first, and this is the bee's knees for making your lashes look so long. And we're going to take this on both sides, just like so. How do you remove foundation that gets in your hairline? They have these little makeup remover wipes on Amazon. Makeup eraser. And then I'll just take this and I'll just go like that. So that's what I do. You can find them on Amazon. Good stocking stuffer. Hmm. Okay, speaking of stocking stuffers. The Twisted Mascara is what we're going to use now. And you can actually get this on sale until the 19th on sale. I lie. You can get it for free. <laughs> I guess that's still on sale. You can get this mascara for free with any order of $100 on my website until the 19th. So grab your orders ASAP because this mascara makes for the best gift. I actually ordered like seven of these to gift to all my kids' teachers and my mom, my sisters, literally everyone, and everyone knows this is what I give, so they're always so excited. They're like, yes, I was hoping you'd give me a mascara. <laughs> this mascara is the best. It has argan oil, keratin, and biotin infused in it, so it, lo it literally grows your lashes while you're wearing it. So good. Lisa, if you were here in person with me, I'd think that like if I were to smell it, you'd like push it. You know what I mean? Where you're like, oh, that cake smells like whatever and then they smell it and you like push their face in it brownies I don't know about that I think it smells like mascara <laughs> so funny all right so gonna go ahead and apply just like so but like I was saying you can get it for free until the 19th with any order of a hundred dollars and then the best part look at this twist or hold and then twist the top off and has this teeny tiny little wand that is perfect for reaching hard to reach eyelashes. And this mascara doesn't smudge or smear anything. So get it on sale and free shipping. And you want to make sure that you order down here is my link right here. Or you could just go straight to my website, which is rayahope.com. So on days where I'm doing like a really fresh makeup look, I don't like to do mascara on the bottom lash line. I feel like it really just gives my eyes like a doe-eyed look, which is kind of fun. Okay, so now for lips, we're going to line our lips with the shade Polite in the lip liner. This is my favorite nude lip liner we have. It's creamy. It's a retractable tip. There's also a sharpener here in the butt. You just stick it in there and twist if you want to or need to. And line in our lips. And then I like to color them in. Okay. 
but this lip liner is the best. It stays on, it's creamy, it's matte, it's so, so good. And then I'm gonna go in and do my lipstick, which is my favorite in the shade Well To Do. Hint, hint. <laughs> which if you love lipstick, lip liner, lip gloss, stay tuned. Hint, hint. You know, lip kits are my favorite. Okay, and if you're just not tuning in, you probably think I've lost my mind. So um, now we're gonna do our lip gloss in the shade Legit. Huh, the shade legit. I've never heard of that one before. And it's this super fun metallic. So it gives your lips like the most high gloss look ever. So pretty. You know, and I also really love these other two colors. Looker and Lottery are these color names too. Hmm. Maybe you should check those out tomorrow on my website at 9 a.m. All right, guys, that was it. So make sure to tune in tomorrow to see what the special is. I wonder what it could be. At 9 a.m. Um, will be the launch of Bundle 9. So tune in for that. Your lips will love it. And um, grab your bronzer by tonight because it's going to be gone. I don't know when it's coming back, if it's coming back. So grab your bronzer tonight um, by midnight pacific standard time it's 12 o'clock here i'm in pacific standard time so it's 12 o'clock so whatever that equals to you uh for midnight so let me know if you guys have any questions message me here bottom left hand corner if you need any help picking out your products i'm so happy to help you and i will see you guys actually in a little bit I'll, i'm gonna be on facebook all day today i have a uh try on with the pink fox that's the outfit i'm wearing right now at 12 30 so in about 15 minutes, I'll be back to do a really fun try on for you guys. And then a little bit later, I was going to do a gift guide live again, showing you some of my top picks for gifts, um, that you can get in time for Christmas. So if you are running out of ideas, tune back in, let's say two o'clock here on Facebook for that gift guide live. So I love you guys. I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.